Hello gents, so I was just going through the workshop skins because it's Tuesday and uh, it's good to keep informed of what's potentially coming out, you know, it's nice to be anticipating what's going to potentially be appearing in a rust store and you can make profit out of it. But there's something that kind of appeared to me right here, the illuminated smelted door. Now I like the idea of it, but then it started to kind of give me ideas and it kind of made me think of something that I thought would be a pretty good discussion. So, illuminated smelter door. This kind of gives the insinuation that it's supposed to be for a furnace room, be it an outside furnace, large furnace uh, section area, or your interior. As it shows here with all the pictures, an outdoor extra furnace, uh, large furnace area, or an indoor place. A door to be a specific type of door. Kind of sounds silly. But then it kind of got to my uh, got, got into my head where, so far every week recently we're going through a uh, storage set, aren't we? The current graffiti storage set. Every single week we're getting a storage which is kind of wanting to specifically have certain items put into it to be organised. Very nice. All of these look very nice. People are invested in them. It got me thinking: Would it be wrong? If we had a door set where you'd have like the entrance door, the storage door, the armory, the, uh, the, the clothing room, you know, silly things like that. Where you could have a separate door for a specific room. But then people gave me the right idea in that, well, if someone raids you, you're just giving them directions around your base. <laughs> so maybe that wouldn't work out, work out so much. But then you could also trick the raiders as well because you could put the wrong doors in the wrong place as a joke that could work but then i also thought well hang on a minute i like the idea of what this is um where you if you know what this, these lighting things are I, I don't know the name of them but you can quite literally pick out what bits would illuminate imagine if uh, face punch released a permanent door item where you could write a specific like name on your door like so i've got this door here i could then i could type something in and then on the door it would sit here and say this is the door to the uh the clothing area or the smelting room or you could have the entrance at the back or the exit you, you, you get the idea would you be opposed to a like a permanent skin like that and if you're confused with what i mean well if we go to rust store and if we go to the general thing the general tab right here. This is where all of the permanent items. Yeah, I call them items because they're not they're not skins. They're their own unique item for the game. Technically speaking, Nomad Outfit is a skin, but yeah, whatever. And what well, an Arctic, but yeah, yeah. So you'd put it here, and would people actually want that? Would people like a door which you could write and you know tag what each room is behind it through this door? Would that work? Would that be good? And then it then it kind of got into my head where, what if we had the likes of stickers and decals, and or you had the ability to um, spray paint onto your armor and it stayed? Would that be pretty good? So this would open up Rust to be a whole lot different in terms of being able to buy skins. So if you've ever gone to Rust on Steam. You might notice that every single skin is technically a commodity. They aren't individuals. They are all technically the same. Um, so, yeah, I can't individually pick one out and say, yeah, I want that. I'll put down a price and it'll give me a random one that fits that price. The cheapest one would be the answer there. So, yeah, these are commodities. But when you look at the likes of TF2 and CSGO, for example, well, when you have a hat... They have this menu style, and I can pick and choose a specific one I might want because they have some certain data that it either has data or certain stats that make them ever so slightly different. Stat, not stats in terms of like uh, something that makes the hat ever better, ever so slightly better, but like just things to make it a bit more unique. But we also have with these hats is like, oh look, this hat has pink paint on it. This has olive green paint on it this has a, a light purple paint on it there are things where people can make them more unique they can customize their hats so 
Is this something you'd like to see? Imagine if suddenly some very old, hardly ever used armour sets being spray painted on or having decals planted all over it or stickers or whatnot. A clan could very easily customise and make their own type of set. What I'm saying is it opens up to the idea of having a badge, a seal, a team insignia, a team logo, a clan logo, you name it. Something that really sets you apart from everybody else. Would that be something you'd like? Now, the other example, as I said, was CSGO. Here we are. We have some very nice weapons. And CSGO pretty much set the trend for the idea of having stickers and whatnot to add value or to make the weapon itself look a whole lot more interesting. Imagine if you could put special types of stickers onto our weapons, be it melee and uh, guns and whatnot. Maybe it would only work for guns. Maybe it would work for me uh, melee weapons as well. The, the choice is yours. But it would open up the skin creators to be able to uh, be creative in other ways. So every week we'd have skins and maybe stickers as well or decals. So decals would be like something that you could spray onto your armor or onto deployables like a door. As I said, you could spray paint uh, the name or whatever you want on the doors. Do you get what I mean? So this is just talking about customization. Would you want to see customization in Rust to make your your skins more special, more unique, more expressive for the type of clan you are? Are you very aggressive? Are you very friendly? Do you get the idea? Silly things like that. Something to make you unique or rather, if you're a YouTuber, something to make a fun video about. <laughs> what do you reckon? Now... One of the best counterpoints I've already had, as someone said in my chat earlier, um, Rust lags so much already as is. If we're going to add all of these extra uh, details in the game, it's probably not going to, it's probably not going to be moving very well. The FPS is probably going to tank, and I was like, oh yeah, you're right, that is a good answer. But in theory, if they could fix that and get past that, would you like to see that in game? So that would open up the ability to be able to, well, you could buy special stickers and then you could make a special type of armor and throw it on the market. Maybe other people would like to buy it or whatnot. But what would the format be? Because with, with stickers in CSGO, you can buy them straight in game. Some of them can just be straight bought. But the vast majority of them come out in sticker capsules. As you can see here. I'm typing so quickly, I, my spilling is being affected. Uh, and now I'm typing spell. <laughs> okay, so you're not going to work for me, are you? Go on, you can do it. Right, so sticker capsules, come in capsules. Essentially loot boxes. So you might get some very interesting looking stickers that are hollow or foil or just paper. Is this something you'd like to see? Or would you rather just be able, would you be just willing to just buy it straight? How long would the stickers be available for? Uh, are they going to be just weekly? Or are they going to be maybe monthly? Maybe we need our own sticker tab here. Decal tab. You've, what do you think? I feel like someone else could be able to read into what I'm saying and be able to express it a whole lot better. How customization could make people uh, well, have a whole lot more fun. There would be a whole different dynamic to the game. What do you reckon? I'd love to hear what you say. But this is just something I thought where making use of skins and extra external things could get people more interested for uh, skins and whatnot. Because as, as I said, could you imagine people grabbing some old near forgotten skins like for armour and clothing and then completely turning it around and making it look real flashy based on what they've put on it with their decals and their spray paint or their stickers and whatnot? You tell me. <sighs> so, choice is yours, um, but I would love to hear your opinion based on it. What would you consider in regards to customization in Rust?